hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with my dress up darling episode number three reaction all right the previous episode it was a measurements episode and all we did was measurements and a little bit uh, more research on the whole cosplay thing uh so <laughs> i'm kind of impressed as to how they like you know actually uh made a whole episode based on measurements it was just measure measurements nothing more you know like they like had like 15 to like you know 18 minutes uh just uh you know gojo struggling to take measurements and like you know the other proportions we kind of had uh you know like um <clears throat> marin talking about her like you know hobbies uh how why she liked cosplay and all the reason like, you know like a little more background of uh, about the eroge that is the slippery what was the name of the eroge the slippery girls or something slippery girls too <laughs> you know the basic context behind it and everything basically like you know uh, making gojo more cultured and that's what basically happened gojo got cultured and he took some measurements and a perfect way to like you know spend your time <laughs> <laughs> and now he's also kind of like you know uh, checking out uh, the source materials that is the eroge uh, and trying to you know find more stuff about the clothing and everything and uh, yeah it's, it's great it's just great so <laughs> let's see what this episode brings what happens in this episode and uh, how close gojo is to actually making the dress um this is the first time he's actually making a human sized dress so that'll be interesting to see how he makes it and if it is good so yeah let's get started this is episode number three of my dress up darling so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> Wait, did you already make it? Did you already make it? Oh, I think it's a dream. It's a, it's a dream. It's a dream. Oh no, it's a dream. Great. That's what happens when you play Aerogay before sleeping, you know? That's what happens. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell's with the music? <laughs> yeah, don't play aeroge before sleeping, you know? Especially if you're a beginner. <laughs> oh boy. Oh lord. Jeez. Oh no. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> wow. Yep. Okay. Well, um great way to start your day i guess <laughs> oh. <laughs> like <laughs> i'll be honest here i feel like marine the way she lives her life is pretty similar to all of us you know, just like, you know, watch anime, play arrow games all day, <laughs> go to school. <laughs> Those who go to school, you know, go to school, come back from school, hang out with friends a little bit, and again, watch anime, and then go to sleep. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's how we spend our days. I'm I'm thinking like are these cosplays as well the the one with the um you know the the the, the other two that those two didn't look like Marin looked like some other girl or maybe that's because of makeup 
I might be wrong though. I don't know. Let's see. So there will other this there will other people will also be involved in this. I don't know. Because those two did not look like Marin. Anyways, let's watch. <laughs> yeah. Well. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> True. <laughs> Up. Oh no. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, this is a new 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 person. It's quite short. Damn, her hair is pretty stylish. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Oh my god, yo. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh great, here we go again. Oh, well. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow. Oh boy, I think he's behind that thing. <laughs> okay. Well, misunderstandings. Hmm. Shopping. Oh. Um. Okay. Well. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, wow. She's a ninja. <laughs> She's a ninja. Hmm. Ah, well. Well, she doesn't actually, yeah. <coughs> um, I'll let them talk, you know? Wait, what? His <laughs> face. <laughs> Damn. Ooh. Uh, 
shopping yes <laughs> okay hobby shop oh wow wow this is like a oh okay interesting <coughs> Damn. Yes. Oh, he 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 took uh, the notes and while watching. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's good at drawing. Obviously, he needs to be good at drawing. Oh. Damn it! This is like a quite a cost, like costly hobby, you know, cosplaying. Oh yeah. <laughs> VK shop. Oh, visual K shop. Okay. Hmm. Mm, he probably uh, okay that's why okay all right makes sense this must be more costly yeah there you go <coughs> oh she brought money what the hell Mama went to the <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, she wants it to be like you know, like the cosplay to be perfect. Okay. Those <laughs> rolls. Oh yeah, he won. We need the rolls as well. Is that a statue of an owl? Swallowtail. Oh, wig. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, nice. There you go. So many different. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah shizuka Tan has black hair it's short oh okay true okay <laughs> Hmm. Longer length. Okay. Ah. All right. Hmm. Yeah, but he like Gojo is doing it so professionally, you know. Okay. Hmm. 
All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, like Gojo kun will be a little bit, you know, like uncomfortable here. <laughs> Do I have permission? <laughs> Okay. But there's no one like that currently. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh no. He, oh my god, he's, he's, he's remembering his dream, oh god. <coughs> Dude, who's this random girl? <laughs> oh, why? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Pretty normal in Eroge, you know. Oh God. Hmm. Okay. In, in, comic it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's also another. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Juju san. Oh, a cross player, probably, professional cross player. Fifty one thousand. My God. Hmm. Middle school. I don't think so. I think that's. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, true. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> well, uh, he's quite new to this, you know. So. What? Okay. Hmm. 
<clears throat> okay, okay, that's fine. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. What anime you wa what? Uh, <laughs> wait, what is that? I did not read that. What was that? Was that is that uh, meat buns, I think. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> Well, he's, he's serious about these type of things, you know? <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> Neutral. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, okay, she realized. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> no, she is definitely not thinking that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. One in exactly two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, two weeks, I think, is decent enough time to make a dress. I'm not sure. What? Yeah. Oh no, no. Yeah, yeah. It's it's quite early. I think. Yeah. Like now that I think about it, two weeks is quite low. Quite a short amount of time. Yeah. Especially if you want to make a dress. Like, yeah, there's a lot of things you need to do to make a dress. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> I think it, it, it probably takes like three to four weeks or something to make a dress. So two weeks. Yeah, it's quite, quite a short amount of time.
So I think it's quite catchy. I'm quite, I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, growing this, and it's quite, this ending is quite growing on me. Okay. All right. That's the end of this episode. This is episode number three. Okay, um, so at the beginning of the episode, we kind of, um, Gojo kind of gets a shock. <laughs> you know, in his, in his dream. My God. And that's why you don't play Aerogaze before sleeping, you know, especially if you are um, new to Aerogaze, you know, don't do that. Um, <laughs> what happened to Gojo might happen to you as well. Oh boy, that was funny. Oh my god. Like, like you know, like he's, he's actually new to all of this. Like, you know, like Aerogaze and everything. And he, I think he basically played quite a big chunk of, like, you know, uh, portion in a, the previous night. Even though he was taking notes of the dress, you know, he still played it. So yeah, like, <laughs> obviously. And... <clears throat> All right, um, that was that, you know, Gojo got a shock in, in the morning and <laughs> he goes to school and he's like, oh my God, if I meet Marin now, it'll be a disaster. And he does meet Marin and yeah, it's just like all, and now this, this is one thing that I really like that she, like, you know, like she, she actually is like so com comfortable talking to her, like, talking to him uh, in front of everyone. Now, obviously, there's a like you know thing about being a little embarrassed. I think if this was like you know if this was Gojo himself, he would probably never like you know instigate a conversation with Marin in front of everyone. Like, obviously, he himself will feel awkward about it. Number one, number two, he's not accustomed to it. But Marin is just so chill about everything. She she's like yeah like what what's the problem if I talk to him in front of everyone and uh, like obviously like you know like people are just talking about it people are like oh why is he like you know interacting with her suddenly uh like you know like little like you know rumors and everything just like like always like everyone's going to like you know like the rumors are something that you can't stop <clears throat> and we do meet a few other girls here as well which i i think i think part of our group um, the girl with the red and black hair, like, it's kind of interesting to see, like, I, I don't know, I feel like, like, I'm kind of impressed that the school actually allows dying hair, like, you know, like, um, like, obviously, like, um, I think Marin also has dyed her hair, I'm not sure, I doubt that's her natural hair color, um, and, and the other girl as well, you know, with, with the black and the red hair, and uh, mine has a lot of makeup on, you know, like the, especially her uh, nails and everything and that her nails are done and all like I'm quite surprised that the school actually doesn't say anything about that. Like, I feel like like schools are very particular and very strict about these type of things, you know, like these type of makeup and everything. If you do it, you know, like they, they don't uh, I, I guess it, it, it might differ between schools, you know, maybe some schools are a bit more easygoing. You know, when some school are a bit more strict. But yeah, I think it's probably something like that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and with the piercings and everything, you know, like in Marin has so many piercings, and not only Marin, like so many other, uh, so, so, like other the other girls as well. Uh, most of them, uh, quite a few of them have so, so much makeup on, and you know, like and and the accessories and everything. I'm quite surprised that the school allows it. But anyways. Um, it must be. I, I I guess the school is pretty easy going about this. That probably is the case. But anyways, um, yeah, we meet the other girls as well, like uh, her friends, and they were just like you know introduced, and they all seem nice, you know, pretty pretty nice. Like you know, they kind of accepted you know Marin talking with uh, uh Gojo and did not like you know ask any question. Like that's interesting. I I thought like they would probably ask mind some questions say ask her like oh why are you talking to him suddenly or something like that i thought it was going to go in that direction later on 
but no they they were pretty chill about it and it was like they didn't even ask any question like, that's kind of like you know that's 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 something that i did not expect <clears throat> and the other other people were like you know talk like you know starting and rumors about it but that's pretty like you know normal you have to accept that like if suddenly like you know a, a, a guy who was just quiet all the time suddenly it starts talking to the most popular girl like you know obviously there's going to be rumors and people are going to talk about it so nothing you can do about it and he kind of got affected by it a little bit he like you know he he heard that and he was like oh like i'm actually causing problems for marin and he, he tried like you know kind of tried to avoid marin from there onwards and <clears throat> thankfully like mine was able to like you know catch him and talk with him like i don't want no dramas in this show you know like i like that's why i really don't like shoujo mangas you know like they they have so much drama it actually kind of gets annoying after a point of time like not all shoujo mangas i'm not saying that all shoujo mangas but most of them most of them are i i i, I really am unable to like, you know handle that much drama like you know like like these type of misunderstandings these kind of get dragged around for like five to ten episodes it's really annoying after a point so like thank god this is not something like that <laughs> mine just went and asked what the hell the like you know problem was and talked with gojo and you know like <clears throat> gojo also talked about his problem what he thought about the whole situation and mine was like ah it's okay no problem you know and uh, <laughs> kind of teased him a little bit as well <laughs> but then they went shopping for um you know the cosplay dress now this is kind of like you know it's kind of impressive that gojo actually uh watched everything and made such you know detailed des designs and everything you know like i i have no idea about how cosplay how like you know cosplay um what do you call it dresses are made but you know like like i could see that you know you, you need a lot of preparations you know as, as we saw here like he you have to actually make drawings and everything and you know take like proper measurements and all and the way he kind of made everything it's it's kind of impressive like you know like all the different angles as we can see the the sh sheet of paper you know, it's like all the different angles like you know what like you know what from different angles what the dress looks like and everything so basically while playing the aerogo he aeroge he was basically doing that he was just you know kind of watching the different <laughs> scenes and kind of jotting it down drawing and even like you know making little points and that's what he did all all <laughs> all night and that's probably why he got that dream because he was so like you know what can i say he was so invested in it <laughs> and yeah so and we go to the sh like you know to, 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 to shop uh all the different things here and there like you know the different fabrics and everything and we see that mine actually is using her uh part-time job money which kind of makes sense because this is like her own hobby and like i've i've heard like you know like i have no idea myself but i've heard that cosplay is one costly hobby is very costly it's like the most costliest hobby or something like that like i've seen so many like you know like i've seen like um, quite a few cosplays and they're impressive you know they're so impressive they make it so amazingly and like you know you have to like you know like if you, just watching it you're like oh this is so amazing but it kind of blows my mind like how much like you know effort you have to actually put into it not only effort but how much money you also have to put into it you know the different fabrics the different different clothings the makeups and you know the wigs and everything uh even like you know the photo shoot the studio food all all those things like you know you, you need to make proper preparations for it and those cost money those cost a lot of money so cosplay is a very expensive hobby and he like you know she she's actually like you know paying everything for, uh, um, by working you know like part-time and that's impressive you know like <clears throat> doing something you know spending money for her hobby uh, and working for it like that's really nice and uh you know she's like yeah i'm, I'm like you know I'm, I'm doing this just for my hobby for cosplaying so you should use this you know money and don't like you know don't think about like you know like no frugality like you know spend whatever you want to but, but i want the cosplay to be the best and 
yeah and gojo started like you know buying stuff and everything and we see how he's also like you know putting um so much thought into it like he said like one thing when they were kind of uh choosing the fabric for the dress he said like oh this one will be better because like you know slippery girls too takes part uh, plays in like you know like a, a a a rich school so you need something heavier and like you know not glossy but heavier and good quality so that's why you need this one not that one like <laughs> yeah and and this this really impressed uh <clears throat> Uh, Marin, because she like you know like she talks about it later obviously where she says that like i've like you know like actually like given more like recommendations like this to a lot of people and people just say that oh it's, it looks fun that's just it they don't actually play it but you know like you like you you actually spent time played it and i was not expecting you actually playing the whole thing and you know that that made me happy like she actually talks about it later on and uh like you know like that's that's kind of like you know like made made her happy as well because he she actually spent time you know like seeing everything and he's quite serious about this like obviously he needed more uh you know like what do you call it uh he needed reference and that's why he played the game he obviously he did not play the game because he wanted to he wanted that reference and you know like so whatever reason he played it he played it you know like he gave it importance and that's what impressed marin and she really liked that and obviously it's, it's kind of quite normal you know like if you actually like, you know like recommend something to your friend you know like for, for example like uh, one anime you you probably liked very much and maybe it's like an underrated anime or something and you recommend your friend you say that you know what just check this out it is so amazing and you know like if if that person if the if that friend actually checks it out and talks about it with with you after later on you feel happy you know you're like oh like he he or she like checked it out like it's nice it's it's like a happy feeling so <laughs> yeah anyways um <clears throat> okay uh, so yeah they, they were kind of like you know buying the different stuff and everything <laughs> and the wig as well they brought uh, they bought the wig and then the garter belt and the stockings my god gojo kun was a little bit you know a little bit anxious uh, because he's not accustomed to it <laughs> and marin again took like you know that opportunity to tease him <laughs> and yeah okay like i'm kind of impressed that mine has like a high threshold of uh what are you calling like being embarrassed like you know her her embarrassed being embarrassed threshold is very high like she usually doesn't get embarrassed like like you know very like you know uh what can i say very um like high what, what can i say like that episode the previous episode um like you know unless and until stuff like that happens where you know gojo kind of like bumped into her you no know, her hand his hand unless and until that stuff like that happens she doesn't get embarrassed which is this kind of impressive i have to say like you know <laughs> anyways um okay and then they like you know went back they were like kind of uh talking about more uh, people who cosplay she talked about one girl i think her name was juju or something yeah juju and like with 52000 <laughs> Yeah, fifty two thousand followers, <laughs> and uh, you know, like she's, she's talking about how she's so amazing, this and that, and uh, yeah, and okay. Um, oh, before that, they kind of had a little meal, I think. Um, yeah, they had a meal. They, had, they went to ramen, sh the ramen shop, I think. Yeah, ramen shop had a meal, and they were just like you know talking so loudly about the whole thing. <laughs> All the people were just so. weird it out they're like what is what are these people are even talking about like you know high school <laughs> nowadays high school couples are scary <laughs> oh boy <laughs> little do they know they're just talking about like ero gays and uh, yeah okay and here gojo talks about his like you know beautiful what beautiful means to him and he talks about how he doesn't like you know casually like you know throw the word beautiful like you know because that's like the, the word beautiful actually holds like a special meaning for him because he feels like like the it's like the first time he went and saw a hinata all he felt that oh this is beautiful 
and he actually doesn't want to compare that unless and until it's that high level he doesn't want to throw out the world be word beautiful that much and i respect that you know like for him beautiful is not just a word it's like an emotion a feeling and a nostalgic you know like thing which like you know he only felt during the time when he first saw a hina doll in his like you know grandfather's house and he does not want to uh, re relate that and compare that with anything else um so he says like you know like it, it's like a very special thing that's why i don't throw out the word beautiful that much unless and until it's something really amazing so yeah that's nice you know like i i respect that that's like his own what can i say own way of like you know uh, thinking like the, the word has like a more impact a more emotional thing for him that's why he does not do that and mine was pretty chill with it and uh, in the end mine talks about how as i kind of talked about it like how he, she says that i usually recommend stuff like this but people just say that oh it looks fun that's just it no one actually plays it obviously but it kind of like you know made her happy that gojo checked it out uh, even if it was for research you know purposes still still he, he checked it out he gave that importance you know and that's what really made her happy and that's why she's like yeah like i like this is my treat like you know I, I i treated you like no need to pay money back for it because i felt happy and it's true you know like as i said like you know if you actually recommend something uh to your friend and your friend actually checks that out which is quite rare you know um <laughs> which is quite rare like i i do i have recommended like you know animes to my like you know friends uh, people like you know my friends who actually watch anime and half of them don't check anything out like but there are times like you know one or two times when suddenly one of like, you know one of my friends say that you know what you recommended this to me and i checked it out it's pretty good and that's when you actually re really feel so amazing you're like ah didn't i tell you <laughs> it's, it's like a really happy feeling you know like when someone checks out something which you recommend and um, i i know i know that feeling i i, I could relate to that you know, the the thing that mine felt and uh, like animes are still okay like erogates people don't want like you know people don't even like you know, i doubt people play erogates or visual novels that much very rare it's like a very one of the very niche hobbies uh which obviously i am like you know, I'm, I'm i'm i play visual novels and erogates quite a bit <laughs> so i can very much relate to marin because people don't play erogates and uh, not only airways visual novels as well like you know like good visual novels people don't you know like usually go for that so i can very much relate to marion <laughs> like anime is popular but not visual novels are not popular at all you know not visual novels or airways so yeah and she talks about that and she's like yeah thank you for that <laughs> and then he she's like okay i'm gonna i'm going to go home two weeks time left you know bye bye and gojo's like wait a minute two minutes two weeks <laughs> and i think yeah i think two weeks is a bit bit less time you know than uh like it, it would take quite a lot of time to actually make dresses like in a human being a dress made for human beings it's saying going to take quite a lot of time like you know you have to sew and everything like so many things to do so yeah i don't know how he's going to do that within two weeks um we'll see so yeah that was it that was this episode this was episode number three of my dress up darling another fantastic episode another really cute episode so yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my dress up darling so until then goodbye and have a nice day